hello <laughs> hi you guys and welcome to my channel so we are in new york i live in new york i moved to new york like almost two weeks ago now oh my god time is flying by but yeah i have a lot to tell you guys but today is a very important day i'm going to a meeting down in soho uh, for a job so fingers crossed fingers crossed i was so excited though <laughs> i'm ready to just get things going and yeah welcome to a new little vlog are you mad at me <laughs> for being away <laughs> I will just be honest and give you guys some kind of update because I've seen all the messages on my social media p platforms, even on my Swedish channel here on YouTube, that I'm working on and building up. So, um, my English channels, I've been working on them for so many years and it's been an amazing journey. I've been able to do so many things thanks to my channels, live abroad, travel and all that. Uh, but YouTube is changing year after year and... Uh, with views and money and everything it just wasn't worth it at the end to upload on the channels and then it's not just that but then also i felt like uh people really didn't care about me necessarily just the content that i created and i don't feel at all like that when i create content in my native language swedish and then also people in sweden they can relate to me more than you guys can here in america if you're watching for example because they know where I'm from and just a lot of things, socially and culturally. Uh, I just felt, I didn't feel the connection uh, with my foreign viewers, to be honest. Didn't feel a connection. And I was like, what's the point of just creating just bland, plain content? I didn't feel like it was me at all in the content that I made. I just, it wasn't me at all. And yeah, it just came to a point. I was like, why am I even doing this? Uh, so I'm just super happy now that I created a Swedish channel. It's not for you guys, so don't go over there, okay? Stay here. <laughs> I will uh, actually start creating content in English again because I saw still that it was people that cared and wondered, like, what is going on? Where are you at? Why are you not uploading? So I was like, oh, maybe some people care. But I generally felt like just nobody cared about my content and I felt like it wasn't me at all. I just created content for... Just, you know, you need to push the algorithm and, you know, create what people want to see, not what you want to make. And, you know, yeah, I just couldn't be myself. And I was like, yeah, it's not worth it anymore. But I have like a new flame to the fire, whatever you call it. So I'm just more motivated now. So uh, let's try again, but a little bit differently, okay? And this uh, hoodie... I bought it a few days ago uh, at a like souvenir shop. It's a mom and pop store. The guy who worked there was so kind. Shout out to Frankie. And I had to buy something because I had no warm clothes because I didn't really plan on moving to New York at first. Like I moved from Sweden to Atlanta. Atlanta is warm. I love Atlanta. I still miss it in a way. It's a charm to it. It's so different here from New York, but. I only have summer clothes and like spring clothes. Spring is on its way though. So I was like, I need to get something warm. And I don't wanna buy, I don't wanna go to like Zara, H&M, just like fast fashion, just all those big um, companies and stuff. So I wanted to support like a mom and pop store. So I know that a lot of souvenir shops is run by families, individuals. So I was like, let me, let me see. I found one in the nearby and it was so funny because when I got there, I saw a few souvenir shops and one was like so nice and it was packed with people inside of there. Then I saw another one down the street across the, across the street. And it was like construction work and it was nobody there. It was empty. It was a big store. I was like, let me go to that one. So when I walk in, this uh, older man is sitting at the desk like, you know, and I was like, hey, I'm cold. <laughs> I need a hoodie. He just uh, brightened up and you know, we had a nice conversation. Uh, so, yeah, just New York is in general very social. And, you know, they're their own 
kind. Uh, it's very, very refreshing and I love it. It felt like home almost immediately when I got here. So I feel like I fit in here perfectly. I always say like New York, even though I don't know too much about New York, but New York is like Europe of America. The closest to when it comes to lifestyle and stuff like that. 10,000 times bigger than any uh, place in Europe, but yeah, like New York is like my whole country, Sweden. So it's definitely different, but I just f felt like home immediately. First day I was like, this is normal. Like I'm just navigating with the streets and avenues, you know, it's pretty easy. So let's see where life takes us here. Today's a big day though, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> And I just want to say a quick uh, to everyone that been writing me over the months. Just thank you guys for just still showing love and, you know, feel a tiny, tiny bit of bad just for uh, not ignoring you, but kind of a little bit. But yeah, let's let's start. Let's see. Baby steps. We'll see where it takes us. <laughs> it's a gloomy day, though. It's going to rain all day. <laughs> And I'm almost done. We're about to head out. It's like 10 degrees. I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit. I don't know Fahrenheit yet. But I think this would be good. It's gonna rain though. Yes, this is me walking from Little Italy to 60th Street, all the way up. It said it was gonna take an hour and some minutes. That's not bad. I know it might sound crazy, but I love to walk, so. It didn't go great, amazing, and it didn't go bad. It went, I will say, it went okay. That's all I will say for now.
Yeah, most people, most of the my locations people don't watch what they're working on. new day uh, where did we end up uh, uh, yesterday uh, the job thing I don't think I updated you guys after that so I have some uh, good news so I have a part-time job that I will start very soon which I'm super happy about and it's very needed because New York is not cheap you need to hustle and have different incomes and just be out there so getting out of my comfort zone and pushing myself but I'm very happy with that that's good news it's another thing that I want to talk to you guys about so New Yorkers they're very social and I've talked to a few they've been coming up to me and we're having conversations and this and that and uh, people are very you know friendly in their own way but I've noticed a thing that it's a lot of racism going on when it comes to who is the bad guy in this city and who is not which makes me kind of upset but just i guess it's good that i'm aware of it but yeah i didn't like that at all when i noticed a pattern that they pointing out like watch out for this kind of people and stuff like that and uh, that gave a uh, bad taste okay we need to be quick now because this simulation it was nobody here and when i start filming everyone is coming uh another thing when people talking about the project here uh, I hate when they putting everyone in a box. So if you're from a certain neighborhood, you need to think, act, uh, dress, all that in a certain way. And they ta also talking about it in a negative way. And I'm from the projects back home in Sweden. And some people would never guess that. I don't know when they see me. I feel like I can be in so many different rooms and just fit in and have conversations with different kind of people. But I don't like that they think that, yeah, just that you need to be, or that's how they describe people, that if you're from this neighborhood, you are a certain kind of person. That's just crazy. Like in the project, it's so many different kind of people. It's book smart people, super intelligent. Uh, people that might never just got a chance or will never even have a chance because they are where they're from so many individual styles and way of thinking and it's so much of everything and i just get so mad when they think that it's just one way of being just because of where you're from and just like i don't know how to describe it but i don't like it i just hear so much crap uh, that people tell me about about places and things that they're not even from or uh, nearby but they have so much to say about it and little do they know that i'm from that kind of area and i'm just sitting there listening like i feel like i'm like an undercover person in society yeah i'm definitely trying to know uh, turn uh, questions back to them and stuff like that because some people are just in their little circle and world uh, and just talking about things that they don't have no clue about but that's their reality am i sounding all over the place i don't know <laughs> but yeah here is the manhattan bridge behind me <laughs> And then look at this view. It's a nice view everywhere here. So nice. <laughs> look at the duckies. They're so cute. They're everywhere here. The whole duck squad. <laughs> hey, living life. So cute. I don't know 
know what he got going on over there. You might see something I don't see. But he just wants to sit on the stones. Yeah, he wants to sit there. <laughs> he chilling. <laughs> He's holding her purse. So cute. <laughs> But you guys, I will end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, comment whatever you want. I don't know what to say. I'm just happy to, you know, give you guys a little update because I've seen the messages and stuff. So here's the update. I'm just trying to make it. We're in New York now and we'll see where it takes us. I appreciate you if you made it till the end. Like, comment, subscribe all the good stuff and yeah i hope i will see you in the next video whenever it is let me know if you guys will see want to see more videos bye more people are coming <laughs>